Uh, hi everyone, so in this video here, I'm gonna talk about how to inspect the uh, road bike wheel set. Uh, I'm gonna focus on the rim, I'm gonna focus on the spokes, and I'm gonna focus on the main uh, hub assembly right here. By the way, this also is gonna work on a hybrid bike as well as the uh, mountain bike. So stick around and let's go from there. Okay, so the first thing that you have here that you wanna focus on, uh, your first thing when I see the bike, and I usually get this right many times, you wanna focus on the, on the rim here. So you see over here, you see that black rim behind? I don't have any there. And if you look over here, I don't have a lot of scratches on my, on my uh, rim here. The, this would be your ideal uh, purchase when you're, when you're looking for the, ins to inspect that uh, wheel set. This is what you wanna focus on. If you have a lot of scratches here, that's a, that's a no-go right here. Now, that's something that's not crucial, but keep in mind the lifespan of that rim is gonna be a lot lesser rather than what you have here. This thing is basically brand new. Now, the second thing that you wanna focus on, uh, you wanna spin the wheel, and this is how much gap you wanna have there. Okay, you see the gap that I have here? You don't want the, the rim, the rim and the brake pad to touch itself. See, there, there is a gap right here and that's, that's what you want in there, you see? That you focus, okay, see? This is how much gap you want there. So this is the thing. Now, if, if, this, if this rim is touching the, the pad, this is something that can be fixed. If it's, if it's doing like this, it can be trued like your annual maintenance. What cannot be fixed is this. If you, if you see this over here, like, like, like doing like this, that means that your rim is bent. So this rim, it had an impact and this has to be replaced. It cannot be fixed. So keep that in mind. Okay, now moving on to the second one are the spokes here. Okay, so this is how your spokes you want them to be, you want to you wanna see how the nipples are. Okay, so these are the nipples here. They should be nice and healthy. They, they should look mint like this one. And then the second thing you want to focus on are the spokes over here. Now, now the oxidized and the rusty spokes can be a sign that the bike was uh, neglected, that there were issues. But basically, this is what you want to look for. And same thing can be said for that bike over there, you see? I've got nice spokes. Uh, now let's move on to the assembly right here. Now you wanna make sure that uh, this thing, you wanna focus that there's no plane here. So you're gonna basically take the, uh, the rim, you're gonna, sh you're gonna wiggle it a bit. You should not have any play here. Now if you do have some play here, chances are that, that your bearings are shot. See, every hub assembly has the bearings in here. So you could have basically minor adjustment, which is nothing to worry about. You could have some um, uh, cracked uh, and neglected uh, bearings in there, which can be fixed. What cannot be fixed are these couplings here. You see every, every bike, every hub assembly has these couplings here. Is that right here? And if these take a beating and, and these cannot be, these cannot be uh, fixed, and you're gonna need a new uh, hub assembly of these guys, otherwise that's something. And again, you should have the, the bolts or the quick release in a decent condition, uh, rust-free uh, rust uh, and handle here means that the bike was stored, it was carefully looked after, and that's pretty much that. If you found this useful, give it a like, thumbs up, and take care, bye-bye.